Hi, I'm Deborah from South Essex Slings and I'm just going to do a reminder video for those I've seen in person on how to feed your baby in a buckle carrier with straight straps. So straight straps on the back, not crossed. If you want to feed in an upright position, then what you will need to do is find your buckles and loosen the straps on your carrier. Loosen your shoulder straps. And then loosen your waistband a bit as well. And then take the whole carrier down as low as is needed to get your baby's nose to your nipple. So loosen that and then take baby round to the side that you wish to feed on. And put baby's arms either side of your breast and support behind baby's neck. If your baby does not have head control, you will always need to support behind their neck in this position. If they do have head and neck control, you may be able to be hands free. So line in, nose up with your nipple, arms cupping breast, allow baby to latch on. You will always be keeping baby's airways clear and visible at all times. Baby's uh, supported from their knees, no higher than their neck with the fabric, and the bum is in a pouch of fabric, which it is because we haven't moved that. Then when baby's finished, you can slide them back up into position on your chest and tighten everything back up. Slack round towards the buckles, tighten. If we wanted to do a horizontal carry, we would take baby out, find somewhere safe to pop them just for a minute, Clip your chest or back clip closed and loosen your straps off. Then slide the carry around just slightly towards the opposite side that you'll be feeding on. Find baby and then position them into a horizontal carry, ready to feed. Again, line in nose up with nipple, their arms are cupping the breast. You're supporting behind their neck, not behind their head. Their head needs to be free to move. Supporting behind their neck, pulling their bottom in nice and close and allowing them to latch on. Once they're latched, your opposite arm can come in and just support their head. In a horizontal carry, you will always need an arm supporting their head, even if they've got head control. So it, uh, doesn't matter if they've got head control or not, this would never be a hands-free feeding position. Find the fabric and making sure the edge of that fabric is in baby's knee pits. Bringing that up over their back and then finding the clip and bringing that over your head like a t-shirt. I'm just going to take this bit of fabric under my arm and over baby's head really gently being careful not to touch baby or move their latch and then if you need to you can tighten this side up slightly so again safety checks baby's airways clear and visible at all times if you want to use a cover if that makes you feel more comfortable that's fine but cover yourself don't cover your baby's head you must always have eyes on baby's airways at all times and they must always have airflow if you have undone any parts of your sling beware there may be trip hazards but in this case there won't be you're supporting baby's head baby's arms are cupping your breast the fabric supports from the knee pits no higher than the nape of the neck remember no fabric behind their head because their head needs to be free to move and baby's bottom is in a pouch of fabric that comes up between you at bum level. So allowing baby to feed. And then when they're done, you can support their head, undo the clip on your back. And then take baby out and you can pop them back in into an upright position. 
If you wish to bottle feed, then we will start with a panel of fabric central, central on our front. And we will clip the clip up again and lengthen the straps again. Find your baby and position them seated sideways. So they're central on you, roughly, but facing towards one side. Doesn't matter which side. They have their body in a nice straight line, so their ear and shoulder and hip are all sort of pointing the same way. Nice and comfortable, and then you can bring that panel of fabric up over their back again. And then finding the clip, pop those straps over your head. And then tighten those up. And you may find that baby rests their head on this strap and that provides enough head support for you. If not, just bring your arm in and support their head with your arm. Their arms are gonna cup the bottle and then you can feed your baby. And when they're done, again, you can pop them back in to face you, or this is a safe carry if you can see baby's airways and they're held nice and tight. It's a safe enough carry to leave them like this if you wish. But if you want to turn them back into you, that's absolutely fine. And you can do it without taking them out. So you could just give yourself a bit of slack, loosen the straps off slightly, and coming in with hands on baby, I'm just gonna lift baby up slightly, gonna hand under their bottom, and I'm gonna find a leg and just guide their legs out of the sides of the carrier until they're sat in nice and centrally. And then tighten up. And there you have it, breastfeeding and bottle feeding in a rucksack strap or straight strapped buckle carrier.